What's happening everyone? Makassan here with another video game trailer reaction. They released a new Dory based trailer for Injustice 2. I have not played Injustice game like you guys all know, but I have a friend, he recommended I watch this. And he has been really keeping me up with the Injustice universe and everything. And wow. Wow. You know, I gotta say this. Even if Superman did not kill the Joker, people before people say spoilers, it's been how long since Injustice 1? I think well, I think I can make spoilers here. Even if Superman did not kill the Joker for what he did, I'm pretty sure the government would just perforate, just straight up murder him, for him, make him Swiss cheese for what he did. I mean, nuking Metropolis? If, if nobody, if the government did not step in and step in and finally executed that psychotic monster, I would have said, you know what, DC, go fuck yourself. Because the, the, no, there's a limit. Joker has done incredible shit that you have already died for. But if you did not kill him for nuking Metropolis, then yeah, you. <clears throat> All right, okay, but fortunately, okay, okay. All right, sorry, sorry. Let's just begin here. I want to see what happens here. I know how it ends, of course, yada yada, and Superman says, I probably would have done the same thing. Let's see what happens. Probably the other Superman will be set free. The line to drawn, or redrawn. Redrawn? Yeah, redrawn. Savior. Monster. Guardian. Ooh, nice. Vigilante. The preservation of life. So often, Supergirl. the justification for taking it. Humans elevating those that keep yeah. guard Guess. until they watch too close. And the so called hero Damn. condoning the very act he would condemn. Huh. Interesting. Bad expressions of the past shape actions to come. As offspring turns into adversary. Oh God! Yesterday's loss leads to oh. madness. Damn! Oh my god, it's like Blizzard. My friends are like Blizzard trailers and kind of yeah. And God becomes Tyrant. Becomes oh, yeah. Outcast. Good riddance, I say. Becomes Dust. As factions dissolve and form. Bane. And lust for power enslaves all. Poison Ivy. Such folly and futility in the grand design. Oh, I, oh. Curious how lines once clearly defined yeah, become blurred. Who would win? Supergirl or Wonder Woman? Hmm. Perhaps it is time for them to be redrawn. Brainiac. Oh, Brainiac narrating? And the voice of Captain Brainiac. If that was Brainiac, it's like, me? Every battle finds you. I like what he was talking about, but... Oh. Duh. Oh. Pre-order bonus. Gameplay trailer reveal, okay. Oh, now, yeah, so I, I did a react reaction to that, the announcement trailer. Okay, what Brainiac was talking about actually was nice, but when you put a face behind that voice, it, i.e. Brainiac's face, it's like, eh, not the kind of voice I'd put for Brainiac, especially when I, whenever I think of Brainiac, I can't help but think back to the animated series, the, the guy who did the voice for Brainiac in the animated series, it was just... So perfect, like monotone with a little bit of a robotic, robotic synthetic to it. 
this one, he sounds too natural. Does that make sense? The, 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 that's kind of weird because normally you'd want for a voice actor, their job is to, to sound natural, to sound part of the character, but this is Brainiac here. He's technically a, synth a synthesoid, a synthetic. So I would not mind if he sounded, well, more like, what's, uh, what's the word, like robot, literally robotic, like, I will destroy you. I will destroy you all, and nothing shall stand in my way. It's like, like that. I mean, we, that would make sense and be justified because he is a robot. He's a robot, very logic-based and shit like that. That voice, it just... I don't know, it didn't sound right. But again, what he was talking about, about lines being blurred and the act... C c c come on, okay? It's, it's one thing, okay, but... Are we really gonna justify? Are we really gonna say, "Oh, so you killed the Joker for what he did"? Does that make you any better than him? He killed the in God. No, how many people live in Metropolis? How many millions? It's a freaking modern day city, so millions. He killed millions. He needed to die. He needed to die. No one's gonna. Oh boy, you know, if anyone uh, besides Batman, of course, because Batman, because well, actually, Batman, he felt a little. It was felt a little bad for the fact that Superman killed him, but I think he felt a little bad with Joker as well. But who, other than Batman, who the f and and Harley Quinn? I don't forgot about Harley Quinn yet because, but who the fuck would care if Joker gets killed? It was an interesting imagery though, where, where I see Batman looking at all those monitors. Uh, nice touch, making them all black and white. It's definitely an homage to Batman the animated series. Good touch there. Very good touch, I gotta say. But, I don't know, that scene where he sees Harley Quinn beat up some guy and then just turns off the screen, he's like, not my problem. It's not my problem anymore. That, that, that's what I got. That's what I got. It's like, and of course, we saw, I, I am curious to know, uh, Supergirl versus Wonder Woman. Yeah, that's a, because they, they changed a bit the origin story for Supergirl, really. Well, more or less stuff, you know, like, she's technically stronger than Superman because she was directly exposed to the solar radiations of the sun as opposed to Superman, who was filtered. But Wonder Woman has more training as a spider, but... I, I don't know. Ah, this is this is this is death battle material. But yeah, it yeah, the, actually the final pass. Like I'm surprised Batman could last this long. I mean, granted, he had plenty of time to tolerate to build a tolerance, but <sighs> and now we got what uh, Red Robin face that thing to fight to fight Superman. I mean Batman. I know characters have died in the Injustice League, thanks to my friend. Green Arrow's dead. Alfred is dead. Which, really? Alfred? Dead? Oh, yeah. That, that's a line. That's a fucking... You killed the butler. You fuck... Nah. Fuck you. Yeah, at this point, gloves come off. Just... Yeah. I I'm surprised. I'm surprised Batman managed to hold on there when... Zass killed Alfred. I, I swear. I, I Oh my god. If anything would have broken Batman, it's killing Alfred. Oh, and also, fun fact, uh, apparently the Teen Titans are also in the Injustice universe, but all of them, with the exception of Raven, they're trapped in the Phantom Zone. When the hell that happened? Oh, but seriously, they, they make such a big issue about killing people and the death penalty does exist in the DC universe, or at the very least, it exists in the animated universe. If you don't believe, if you don't believe me, look up the episode Task Force X. It begins, it opens up with Deadshot essentially getting ready to be executed. They're, he, they're Bring him to, to the electric chair. He's had his uh, last request. Lobster dinner. Very nice. 
And so, yeah, they're walking him, and uh, as soon as they open the door to the chair, government, Amanda Waller, yeah. Fuck. You know, you know what, you know what I want? I, I, I want this. Seven. Like the Justice League captured, insert whatever super villain here, bring him up to jail and everything. There's a government guy there, and the moment the Justice League guys turn away, like turn their backs, bang, 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 bang. One shot in the head, a couple more shots in the body. Guy is dead. By the government, by the government agent guy. And why is that? Like before the Justice League go, how could you do that? that that's not justice. That, what the hell? That's not justice. Oh, on the contrary. It is justice, because this guy has gone through the legal system. He's been tried, sentenced to death. I wasn't the judge and jury. I am not the judge and jury. He's been judge and jury. I was called in to be the executioner. So, yeah. This is justice. May not be your idyllic form, but this was approved by the court of law. You don't like it? No, not my problem. What are you going to do about it? What are you going to do about it? You can't arrest me. <laughs> so yeah, like I want, I so wanted that happen. It's like insert some more realism, in, at least not for the Justice League, but at least in the government, because because essentially the Justice League, what the, what are they? Essentially, the super police force, and a police force is still a servant to the government. Uh, if only the government here would have just grown a brain. I'm sorry, I'm going off on a fucking rant, but Jesus Christ. And now we're gonna have, like, um, Brainiac in this game. I can't wait to see how that goes in the comics, because my friend will love that. Oh, and of course, Dark Side, as if he wasn't already a force of nature enough, let's give him power armor. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, I guarantee you, though, uh, they're gonna do the same thing with Doomsday. Like, that guy, like that fucking monster needs power armor to be even more terrifying. <sighs> I like the imagery, though, in the trailer they show here. They showed a cemetery, which, no doubt, that's Metropolis. All the, that's built on Metropolis, a memorial cemetery. <sighs> it's clearly, though, that it's also quite clear that, um... Batman's rogues gallery is gonna play more of a hand in probably stopping Superman, which really, again, it's no big deal. It's nothing new, actually. There was an issue in the comics where he recruited all the villains, all his villains, to stop the Joker's latest schemes because even they agreed Joker went too far. Put, so they put aside the differences and stopped him in that regard. So, yeah. Bane... Poison Ivy? I like what they're doing with Poison Ivy in the comic where she's reformed and has become good. Ish. Take what you can get. Take what you can get, okay? I take what I can get and I like the fact that she's more of a neutral stance like Harley Quinn. Well, those are my thoughts and... Honestly, I would like to see Injustice made into an animated series. A web series, at least. Just not in, like, the 3D here like we saw here. Because, God damn, just how, how many hours, days, and weeks would it take just to make 10 minutes? No, no, just a simple 2D. Simple 2D, even just caricature or cartoon web series be perfect for me or maybe a motion comic like make the injustice comic books and and the story of the game and make it a motion comic i'd buy that hell i bought the watchmen co motion comic on blu-ray well here's hoping so people tell me what you thought in the comment section down below uh like and subscribe for more videos like always and you know what to do you know what to hit that stupid bell whatever until next time, this is Mechasan, logging out.